Let's get started on Amphibian. Uh -huh. Now, Amphibian has a disc alien, which is really cool. I like the disc aliens a lot more than the figures. I don't know why, that's just me. Um, and it's, it looks just like him. Um, uh -huh. It's very, very cool. Um, but I say that for all the disc aliens, so I could be wrong if you don't think this is cool. So yeah, uh -huh. disc alien, I'll be testing this later. Set that aside, and uh, now to the figure. Now, Amphibian, uh, he has no, really that much articulation in his head. His head just wobbles, a little, well not wobble, but it kind of bends left and right. And his arms, uh, just go, they just swivel up and down. And forwards and backwards. Not that much articulation, but the guy is really cool. Um, except one thing that Bandai messed up on is that, um, he has legs. Um, these uh -huh. right here are not supposed to be legs, they're supposed to be tentacles like these. Um, uh -huh. but I think, uh, Amphibian should have came with a stand, and, uh, just like Ghost Freak did, and just have tentacles. But, that's just me. Okay, so, uh, the, the legs go forward and backwards, and they do have knee joints, so, yeah. Get crazy with that. Okay. Now I'm just going to give you like a little 360 uh, degree look at him, he looks pretty cool. Uh, and compare him to his uh, uh, cartoon version of him, he uh, looks just like this, except for his legs obviously, like I said. Um, this figure's not uh, really that great, but I do like the design on him, so if you're looking for the design, I highly suggest getting this. If you're not really into much articulation, you can get this as well. Um, but yeah, it's a cool figure for any uh, Ben 10 collector. Uh, I will be now going into low light to test the Discalian Ultimatrix uh, with the new uh, Amphibian. Figure. Stay tuned for that. Hey guys, I'm back. Now it's time to test the Discalian Ultimatrix. Turning on Discalian Ultimatrix. Inserting Discalian now. Hope you enjoyed the video guys.